U.S. President George W. Bush will allow federal funding for limited research on stem cells taken from human embryos. I have concluded that we should allow federal funds to be used for research on these existing stem cell lines where the life and death decision has already been made. In a televised speech to the nation Thursday night, Mr. Bush said federal funds could be spent only on research involving stem cells that have already been extracted from frozen human embryos. Medical laboratories now have available about 60 lines or colonies of stem cells derived from human embryos. In most cases, the cells were taken from extra embryos created at human reproduction clinics. The process of extracting stem cells in a laboratory destroys a human embryo. If they're going to be destroyed anyway, shouldn't they be used for a greater good, for research that has the potential to save and improve other lives? Adult stem cells are also available for research, but scientists have assured the president that embryonic stem cells show the most promise that could lead to breakthrough therapies and cures for disease. Mr. Bush said his guidelines would allow American scientists to explore the promise and potential of stem cell research without crossing a fundamental moral line. President Bush said he struggled with this decision for many months, reading and consulting scientists, bioethicists, scholars, religious leaders, members of Congress and his cabinet. The Pope had voiced disapproval of stem cell research during President Bush's recent visit to the Vatican. However, the President's decision has been called acceptable by the National Right to Life Committee, a group solidly opposed to abortions. Analysts say the decision is a compromise between scientists pushing for full research and religious and social conservatives who want a complete ban. Mr. Bush said he would create a president's council to monitor the research and recommend guidelines and regulations.